Alexander Nevsky's son, Daniel, founded the Grand Principality of Moscow, which quickly grew in power. Under the great Uzbek Khan, the Tatars converted to Islam. A rising power, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, defeated the Tatars at the Battle of Blue Waters and conquered Kiev. Eighteen years later, Dmitry Donskoy, Grand Prince of Moscow, also defeated the Tatars at the Great Battle of Kulikova Field. After years of infighting, the Golden Horde now began to disintegrate into rival Khanates. Constantinople, capital and last outpost of the once great Byzantine Empire, fell to the Turkish Ottoman Empire. Some hailed Moscow as the Third Rome, the seat of Orthodox Christian faith, now Rome and Constantinople had fallen. Meanwhile, the Grand Princes of Moscow continued to expand their power, annexing Novgorod and forging the first Russian state. At the Ugra River, Ivan III of Moscow faced down the Tatar army and forced it to retreat. Russia had finally cast off the Tatar yoke. Under Grand Prince Vasily III, Moscow continued to grow in size and power. His son, Ivan IV, was crowned the first Tsar of Russia. He would be remembered as Ivan the Terrible. Ivan conquered Tatar lands in Kazan and Astrakhan, but was defeated in the Livonian War by Sweden and the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Ivan's modernizing reforms gave way to a reign of terror and mass executions, fueled by his violent paranoia. Russia was still vulnerable. Raiders from the Crimean Khanate were able to burn Moscow itself. But the next year, Russian forces routed the Tatars at Molody, just south of the city. Welcome to our video. So this was about the history of Moscow State. Today we are going to discuss about the rise of the Moscow state chronologically. Moscow was founded in 1147 as a fortress in the Principality of Vladimir. Ivan uh, first Kalita. He ruled from 1325 to 1340 AD. He was the prince of the Moscow who suppressed the anti-Mongol uprising in the Tver and became the Grand Prince with the Mongol assistance and removed the Orthodox Metropolitan to the Moscow. Dmitri. He was born on 1359 and died on 1380 AD. He was the prince of Moscow who joined Kavalshug Novoglad with the marriage and led a victory versus Mongols at Kobligo battle. After Dmitri, uh, the the Kloko battle was uh, held in 1380 AD. It, this battle was divided uh, divisive battle between the jo uh, joint Russian army and leaded by the Moscow and the Golden. The Horde, which plays a significant role in the Russian history. Ivan III, the Great, from 1462 to 1505. He uh, tripled the territory of his state, ended the dominance of the Golden Horde over Rus. He also renovated the Moscow Kremlin and laid the foundation of the Russian state. The Battle of Shillong River, which was held on the 11th, uh, 1471 AD, and decisive battle between the Moscow forces under the Ivan III and the army of the Novogad Republic. Novogad suffered a defeat and it, um, it lost the independence from Moscow. Ahmed Khan. He was born on 1465 and died on 1481 AD. He was the last ruler of Gordon Hordy. The Great Standing on the Ugra River. It was held in 1840 AD. The final half year of the uh, confrontation of 
the moscow army was versus golden horde which was uh, undermined the military power of the tatars the battle spread created by grand principality of moscow and later by the sardom of russia in order to protect it from the reach of the crimean tatars Uh, in 1497 uh, subnik introduced the collection of the laws which was introduced by the ivan iii and played in the big uh, play a big part in the centralization of the russian state and the creation of the national wide russian law and the element of the federal division sofia palenlogos she was the second wife of ivan iii daughter of thomas palenlogos despot of moria who claimed the throne of constantinople as the brother of constantin ii she was last byzantine empire after that the the fluffy which we also known as the uh, the pilastus of the poco in this the uh, hegemon of the uh, gilizo monastery uh, you know in the poco in the 16th uh, century he is the uh, he is credited with the authority uh, auto, uh, authorship of the third roman uh, porchi Pro, uh, proponiki so now i'm going to tell you about the uh, some famous personalities of russia first i would like to tell you about the yamak Timovich Timofeyevich Yamak Timofeyevich was born in uh, was born between 15 1553 to 1542 He was died in August 5 or 6th 15 1585 He was a Cossack Ottoman and is today a hero in the Russian folk and the myths in the region of the uh, the Tsar Ivan the tribal yamak started a russian conquest of siberia this, uh, this is the photo uh, this is the portrait from the 17th century he was the first kozak who led the russian exploration and uh, conquest the uh, russian uh, conquest of siberia as we know the russia uh, the russians for trade uh, in, insisted the fuel their desires to expand uh, east into the siberia the tatar uh, the ta- uh, the tatar khatan uh, khatan of the kazan was established uh, a best uh, best entry way to into the uh, siberia so and he was started uh, he was started to uh, increase his uh, his, his rule area so he uh, he sta- he was trying to uh, occupy the family of uh, stovagna region so uh, in uh, late 1857 17 in it late 1570s the stovagna uh, recruited the kozak uh, fighters to invited uh, to invent the asian uh, asia on behalf of the uh, tsar these kozaks elected uh, elected the yamak yamak to uh, chimovich as the leader of their uh, armed force and in 1582 the yamak set out with an army of people uh, around 840 peoples and soldiers uh, he uh, he tried to attack uh, attack the uh, khatans uh, khatan of the siberia on october 26 1850 uh, 1852 yamak and his soldiers overthrew the uh, kuchum uh, kuchum tatar empire tatars empire at the kishil in a battle which make the which mark the consequences of the siberia the yamak remain but yamak still remained in the siberia and continued to struggle against the tatar uh, tatar empire until 1852 but in 1852 when uh, when a raid organized by the kuchum khan uh, kuchum khan was assumed uh, ambushed and killed him and his party also so this was the end of the glory of the uh, yamak chiruvanshi uh, timovich uh, as we uh, there are some conflicts over uh, over his history the speci- uh, spe- the specific of the yamak life such as the 
experienced the background and the data of the events and the remaining points of the uh, concluded by the historians are are documented in his life was all over uh, not reliable so however this uh, his life was conquest and and had a had a perfumed uh, perfumed influence of the siberian uh, relation so the sparkling russian and the uh, interest in the region and the establishment of the tsardom uh, tsardom of the russia and as a agreement as a, a he was known as the uh, aggressive uh, imperial power east in the uh, urals so uh, in uh, after 5 um, or 6 1850 uh, 50 85 uh, he was died and and the whole journey of uh, yama was ended thank you for listening me my name is nokul chand i'm sejal singh lana so today i'm gonna, i'm going to tell you about the most famous personality of the russia ivan tree the great Uh, he was born in the moscow uh, in 22 january 1450 um, uh, uh, ivan third the great was the grand prince of the moscow and the grand prince of the orishia a russian state gained independence from the Mong- mongol tatars and finally ending 200 years of the rule he also made the moscow the center of the russian world by uh, considering ex- uh, by con- considering and expanding its border he came from a generation of the Mo- Mo- moscow grand dukes he was the first ruler to use the uh, use the titles of the tsar and the rulers uh, ruler of all russia ivan third father was vasily and um, vasily second and the dark a name uh, he was given during the civil war uh, civil war uh, when he was um, when he was blinded by his uh, his cousin dmitry uh, shemyaka in his attempt to acquire the power Vasily, to secure succession, 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 declared the Ivan uh, co-ruler at the only six years of the age. Ivan get married to the Maria at twelve, who was the princess of the principality of the Tver. Their uh, marriage facilitated the annexation of the Tver, and he was experienced. Uh, he he was experienced prince with a strong character and the capacity to deal with the uh, deal with the complex government questions when he uh, when he took the throne at the age twenty two. Uh, in 1470 ivan launched uh, launched a war against the novogorod prince tom uh, which he conquered and annexed uh, annex in the uh, 1478 thereby acquiring all the northern russia from uh, from the uh, from the lapland uh, which is now finland uh, to the verbal uh, to the verbal mountain he further increased his uh, his domains either by conquest or purchase of the surrounding and the sovereign um, territories or by using the diplomatic talent in ex- uh, in exacting uh, allegiance, uh, allegiance of the um, allegiance from the water princess uh, ivan third became the gatherers of the russian land and tripled the territory of his state and though the mongol horde was already weakened by this time and it was the ivan who formally def- uh, who uh, who were defended in the 1480 to pay the further tribute ivan first wife maria of the tver Uh, died in fourteen hundred sixty-seven, and he later married the Byzantine princess Zoe Marisado, who took Orthodox name of the Sophia. She brought with her customs of the Byzantine and the court, and the more openness to the Europe and the culture. The new politics of the Moscow gave rise to the idea of the Moscow as the Third Rome. So uh, Sophia had an enormous influence on the Ivan. In fourteen hundred ninety-seven, he took an uh, Russian emblem. the double uh, headed eagle and a byzantine symbol granted the sofia and required the italian architects to rebuild moscow under the ivan third a code of the law known as a uh, subnik and was compiled in uh, 1497 uh, and it was the first time that the laws of the moscow were written down uh, on written down on there uh, ivan third success is making the moscow and the center of the russia power earn him the title the great Ivan III died in the 27th October 1505, and uh, was succeeded by the son. Uh, and it was succeeded by the son Vasily III. Thank you for listening. My name is Rutuja Mandre, and I am going to tell you about the famous personality Ivan IV the Terrible. Ivan was born on August 25 and died on March 18, 1584, near Moscow. Ivan was the long awaited uh, son of Vasily III and became the grand prince of Moscow at the age of 
He was treated with respect in public but neglected in private and generated hatred towards the nobles. In 1547, age 16, he was finally crowned Khazar of all Russia, the final and the op- official and the only ruler of the of the Russia which assumed the title. The young the young ruler started as a reformer, modernizing and centralizing the country. He revised the law code, created an allied standing army, and introduced local self management in rural areas ivan crushed the tatar stronghold of kazan and then another one astrakhan during ivan's reign russia was turned into a multi ethnic and multi religious state ivan was a bad tempered and unpredictable prince due to which he accidentally killed his own eldest son the ivan ivanich hitting him with the pointed staff during a battle ivan was a ruthless monarch and skilled manipulator he was also a prominent theological and accomplished public speaker and one of the most well educated people of his time he died on march 18 leaving a very bright mark on, on his name the terrible ivan the terrible thank you I am Nitya Sakhtikar, and I am going to tell about the Saint Basil. He is also known as Vasily Blazeni, a uh, Basil Full of Christ, or Basil of Moscow. His feast day is celebrated on August two, the date of his repose. Basil was born into a family of serfs uh, in December fourteen sixty eight in the village of Ilokovo, Ilokovo, near Mol- uh, Moscow in Russia. Iloko is now part of the city of Moscow. His father was named Jacob and and his mother was Anna. According to tradition, Basil was born on the portico of the Iloko church in honor of the Vladimir icon uh, of the most holy Theodokos. Apprenticed to a shoemaker in Moscow, Basil soon showed that he was no ordinary man. When a merchant who had bought grain to a Moscow ordered special goods that the merchant could not wait to be finished and would get uh, when he returned in a year, Basil wept and said, "I wish you would cancel the order, since you will never wear them." When he perplexed master questioned him, Basil explained that the man would ne- uh, not wear the goods as he would die soon. After several days, the prediction came true. When he was sixteen, Basil adopted an eccentric lifestyle, that of the difficult exploit of a uh, foolishness for Christ. In the burning summer heat and the harsh winter's frost, Basil walked through the streets of Moscow barefoot. His actions were also strange. At one time, he would upset a stand uh, with kal- kalachi, and at another, he would spill a jug with kvas. The angry merchant beat him, but they endured the beating uh, with joy, and he thanked God for them. Then it was discovered that the kalachi were poorly cooked and the kvas were badly prepared. Soon his reputation grew, and people saw him as a holy fool, uh, a man of God, and a denouncer of wrong. Preaching mercy, Basil helped those who were ashamed to ask for alms. Uh, but who were more in need of help than others he harshly condemned those who gave alms for selfish reasons not uh, out of compassion for the poor and destitute uh, but hoping for any easy way to gain god's blessing upon their affairs many observed that when basil passed by a house in which the occupants made merry and drank he wept and clutched the corners of the house when basil was asked what this mean Uh, and he answered angels stand in sorrow at the house and are distressed by the sins of the people but i entreat them with tears to pray to the lord for the conversion of sinners made pure by the great deeds and by the prayers of his soul basil was given the gift of foreseeing the future in 1547 he predicted the great fire of moscow through prayers he extinguished a fire at nogorod and once he, he 
approach Tsar Ivan the Terrible uh, because during the divine services he was preoccupied with thoughts of building a palace on the Vorobyev hills. At another time, Basil gave Tsar Ivan some meat during Great uh, Lent, telling him it did not matter whether or not he fasted from eating meat because of the murders he had committed. He went naked and weighed himself down with chains. Saint Basil died on August 2, 1557. Uh, Saint Macarius, uh, Metropolitan of Moscow, served his funeral with many clergy. Tsar Ivan himself acted as pal bearer and carried his coffin to the uh, cemetery. Basil is buried in the cemetery of uh, Trinity Church, where in 1554, the protection of the Theotokos uh, Cathedral was built on the Red Square of Moscow in memory of the conquest of Kazan. The main chapel of the cathedral is dedicated to St. Basil. Thank you for listening.